Happy Easter, everybody. It is Easter Sunday, and I am uh, headed out on a no-cooling call. It's, it's late in the afternoon, so we've done our Easter festivities. We went to church this morning, did the Easter egg hunt, all that good stuff. Bocked eggs, you know. Um, my shirts are getting a little too big for me, but... Um, so this guy just called me up and he's like, hey man, I know it's Easter, but I, I'm willing to pay, you know, whatever I got to pay to get you out here to get this unit running. He said it's an upstairs unit, so that means there are two systems on the house, but I guess they really need that upstairs system. I said, yeah, it's an extra charge. He didn't even ask what it was. He just said, do you mind coming? And I said, no, I said, We're, we've already done all of our Easter festivities. The only thing we haven't done yet is eat dinner. Uh, the wife and you know is cooking up the dinner, but that's not a big deal. He agreed to it, so. And then I got an old friend that lives not far. She wants me to come by and give her an estimate on a whole new system. And she called me. And she's like, "Hey, I know today's Easter, but I'm leaving tomorrow to go out of town." I need an estimate on a new system and I'm like well I'm gonna have to come take a look at it and she's like well if you don't if you want to come look at it today you can I said well I said yeah I done got called out to a service call so I said let me go do the service call then I'll come by and see you and uh, give you a price so you know it is what it is I was just sitting around the house not doing anything anyway I mean, like I said, we had already done all of our festivities and went to church and all that. So, why not? All right. We'll see if we can get some film on this for y'all. Okay. So, got a three-ton 1996 that's attached to some Bryant, to a Bryant gas furnace and an all-style coil slab coil it's running good pulling good heat but this is our system that we're working on this is a 2004 american standard allegiance 12 it's a 12 sear it was uh slightly frozen when i got here because he had turned it off when i talked to him on the phone but i think she's completely thawed out now i've had the fan on on and the condenser the disconnect off for a good 20 30 minutes now so i'm gonna go get some gauges and some gas and uh put some r22 in it holds exactly five pounds but we've been talking oh you can see that uh secondary drain that's for his downstairs system his uh his downstairs system has been draining into the secondary pan because he cut the pipe to unclog it, but he never put a coupling back on it. So I'm going to put a coupling back on that. We're going to gas this thing up, and I'm going to give him a quote on a double change out, a two-ton and a three-ton. Uh, both of them gas furnaces, both of them in the attic. This one's horizontal in the attic. This one is standing vertical in the attic. So... Shouldn't be a bad change out, but I'm gonna go get a crescent wrench to unlock those caps, set of gauges and some gas. And uh, we're just gonna top this thing off for him. All right, there's the furnace. Oh, Brian. That's what the train is hooked on with this old slab coil. All style, three ton. There's the cup. There you can see it's been draining into the pan, but put a new coupling on there and there's the American standard vertical in the attic so we got that fixed that coil right there should be just about thawed out and we're gonna gas it up all right so I wanted to give it more time to thaw out and I got the unit running now but my standing pressure was right at 100 when I walked in the attic to go glue that drain line. I gave it some more time. I went to the truck and 
called the wife just to check on every, you know, the kids and stuff, make sure everything, see how, see how things at the house were going. And when I came back out, we were almost at 150 standing pressure, or actually a little above 125. So that, that makes me confident that the coil stalled out now. We got a little bit of head pressure. We don't have much suction pressure, which would indicate why it's freezing. And we have some liquid gold, the real deal. And we're going to, yeah, I do R22 in liquid form too. I'm not gonna sit there and wait on vapor all damn day. So anyway, I'm gonna keep at it. I'm gonna keep charging it, get it to where I, and I'm using analog gauges. I'm not, it's got a piston. I'm not worried about superheat, subcooling, none of that. This is just to stop it from freezing, get it cooling, and get an estimate in and change these systems out because that's what he wants to do. So, plus it's a leaker, no sense in, uh, you know, dialing it in to the T anyway. And for those of you that say that's wrong or whatever, well, that's your opinion. And opinions are like, you know what, everybody's got one, so. On old, on old equipment like this, I'm not going to take the time to sit here and dial it in. I'm simply going to get it to where I think it needs to be, get it cooling, because I'm pretty sure we'll be back over here next week changing these systems out. All right, I'm comfortable with that. Got about 75 psi on the suction, a 44 degree coil, and a little bit, and right above 225 on the head pressure. So that's not bad at all. She's pulling real good heat. She's definitely cooling now. I may put one more little squirt in it, just for GP. There we go. Got her a little bit above 75. I don't want to go too high with it. I'm happy with that. She's definitely pulling some good heat. It'll cool now. And they're remodeling upstairs. So there's no carpet or anything up there. And you saw the attic, it's real, it's got a regular three-foot walkway door, easy to get in. Got a vertical uh, unit, which is this one, right right when you walk in the door, horizontal on that one. So, definitely uh, gonna quote this out. But I'm happy with that right there. Right at 80 pounds of suction. It's like 80 something degrees up there, a little over two, a little over 225 on the head. I'm good with that. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna put any more. I'm gonna let it be. She's pulling good heat now. This thing right here is really pulling some heat, but it hasn't shut off since I've been here. I'm afraid a three-ton may be too small for the downstairs. So, okay, guys. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank y'all for watching. All right, guys. I'm back at home. I hope uh, y'all enjoyed the video. Excuse the boxes and everything. We just moved in. Anyway, that customer was very happy to have their upstairs air back on. We're going to quote him out a double change out 14 sear and a double change out 16 sear. I did briefly bring up a 20 sear, explain to him the technology and explain to him that the price jumps big time. He said he was not interested in 20 sear equipment. He would choose between 14 and 16 and that we would definitely be changing both systems. That's what he told me. So... And then uh, the estimate that we went on, my friend, she's already pretty much given me the go ahead to knock hers out this week too. So that makes that makes four systems, three houses that have to be changed out. Once we, we've gotten approval on two of them, the double change out just gotta get approval, which I'm sure we will. So it looks like we got a busy week this week. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.